What's up, party people? It is Brian here with Unrival Multimedia. The Cowboys once again shock everybody by absolutely stomping the Jacksonville Jaguars 42-7. The Cowboys in this game played a game that we all, if you're a Cowboys fan, thought was not possible, which is being a dominant offensive team. In this game, you had Dak Prescott throwing two touchdowns, running for one, and being able to actually have time to get the ball to the wide receivers. And guess what? The wide receivers actually being able to catch the ball. You had Cole Beasley with two touchdown catches. You had Michael Gallup actually showing some promise in this game with a great couple of catches and also a touchdown that was called back which he had a great catch on but again there's always some negative as you had Alan Hearns who tried to speak up this week and said that everybody's to blame for with zero catches and going into this game he has been a disaster and continued to be a no-show for this season and once again you had Zeke Elliott with another outstanding performance 106 yards rushing and a touchdown that basically put this game out of reach for the Jaguars. And on the other end, the Cowboys defense played their best game of the season, in my opinion. Absolutely shutting down Jacksonville. You had Leighton Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith combining for 20 tackles. They are becoming a dynamic duo in the linebacking core and showing just how great this defense can be if they can start to get more turnovers. You also had Randy Gregory and David Irving lining up for the first time. If those two guys can stay on the field, that is going to make Demarcus Lawrence's job so much easier, along with Terrence, excuse me, along with Crawford's definitely improving on this defensive line. I cannot believe how bad Blake Bortles is. Anybody who thought that Dak Prescott and Blake Bortles are on the same level, they need to never watch football again. Never. Because Blake Bortles showed in this game, he is absolutely god off that quarterback and is definitely not a starting quarterback caliber type of player. And in this game, the Cowboys frustrated him the whole game and really had him on his heels. And also in this game, you saw... If Dak Prescott has time to throw the ball, what he can do. He also had over 80 yards rushing in this game. The Cowboys, for one day, finally went back to going back to what he is good at. Bootleg option plays and getting out of the pocket. And if the Cowboys would just let Dak go and do what he is good at, I have no doubt he can be a top-level quarterback. But I have no faith that next week the Cowboys will be able to duplicate this offensive performance because as we know they have the worst head coach in football do not let this win of go to your head and think the cowboys are going to just somehow become some kind of offensive juggernaut and jalen ramsey i don't know where he was in this game because it seemed like he had no interest as the cowboys just were able to get him and bouye their two cornerbacks on islands and do whatever they wanted to. They were non-factors. And I have a question about this game. Who's in charge of keeping Zeke Elliott away from Conor McGregor after this game? I gotta know. Because we know that is something that is bound to be a bad combination. So, with that being said, as always, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. And please do subscribe to our Rebel Multimedia. And until next time, take it easy.